Hey guys, today I'm gonna talk about how to get ready and prepare for the Texas MPJE law exam. Um, I hope you find this helpful. In my opinion, this is easier to prepare for compared to the Netflix, but again, that can be up for dispute. So today I wanna talk about a resource that I felt like it was very good for me um, using as I go through the process of preparing for the MPJE. Um, for me, our, I went to school in Texas, so we use the law book. So, and then we have lots of notes. So I actually use my notes as a reference. And then the other book that you want, if you just want, instead of going through like a thick law book or state of Texas, you can actually also get a guide. Um, the Ultimate Texas MPJE by these two gentlemen, they're very good as Dr. Fred Brinkley, who taught law at University of Texas at Austin, College of Pharmacy, and Dr. Gary Casatori, who also taught law at the University of Houston, College of Pharmacy. So these are Texas or Texans, no uh, law professors slash pharmacy. So, and they work together to put the guide together and their book costs roughly about $80. But again, I think it's really worth it. Um, so I use that in conjunction with my law notes and that really helped me get through the MPJE. I'm gonna tell you this, regardless how much you study for the law exam, when you take the test, you felt like, at least for me, again, in my experience, I felt like at the end of the exam, I thought I totally bombed it. I really did. I'm like, I think I need to retake that test because there were questions that I did not know but I miraculously passed the exam. So I'm here, I'm practicing as a pharmacist and I hope I'll never take the test again because it was a lot of questions that I did not know, but then there were some questions that I, I mean, there were some questions that you know for sure and there's some that you just, out of the blue, very grit nitty detail that you have to remember. Um, so just keep that in mind. How long did I spend to prepare? I took my Netflix first and I usually, or I spent about two to three months, really hunkered down at two months, like getting serious, study every day, eight hours a day type for at least a whole month straight before taking my Netflix. And then after that, I conquered the MPJE, which is about two weeks. I was in my residency program or I got accepted to a residency program. So I had to do it by before August because that's kind of like a deadline for you to be able to pass and get your licensure as a pharmacist. So I was on a time crunch. Hence, um, but residency, at least for, for myself, I start in July or June. So I really didn't want to wait too long and miss that deadline. So I actually study, um, I would recommend to start studying two or three months before your graduation, which I know sometimes is hard because you have rotation and whatnot. So on your last rotation, I would start really prepping down and getting ready for the test because Netflix and MPJE are two big ones that you want to really spend quality time and take it and not do a one-nighter because um, with the Netflix, I believe you can only take it up to five times. And so, you don't want to mess up that chance. And most of the time, you only want to take one or twice, max three. But um, if you do it once and does it, great, right? Um, MPG test is much shorter and I would look at all the technical information online regarding like um, what to bring, what not to bring, what kind of ID they need, etc. your name, make sure your name matches. They're very, very strict with that. So if you have, if you go by a different name and this is your surname, or if you're not a US citizen, what card is acceptable? So please, please take a moment to look at that. Cause if not, you're gonna get turned back and then have to re-register. Um, you can also register, but then if you feel like, man, I'm not ready, I'm gonna push the test back. You can, but you may have to go to like another state or another city to take the test. So if I was in your shoes, I would try and get it locally so you don't have to um, 
put up the efforts of trying to like drive to another city, plan for this hotel, etc. For me, because I have a timeline I need to meet, I had to actually drive to another city three hours away, stay overnight, take the test and drive back. So it was very tiring. So if you're able to plan early, go ahead and do so. And when you have locked down that date, it again gives you a lot of push and motivations to really buckle down and study. So I hope you find that helpful. Um, again, sometimes when you walk out of these tests, you felt like, oh man, I don't know if I did well or not. Just forget it, go home. Don't even try to look up the answers and just let it be because these tests are bell curve or at least the NAPLEX is bell curve. So it's based on how everyone's doing. That's how the grade is, de is being determined. So I hope you will rest up well the day before your test, eat, restore, give your brain some boost and some rest and you'll do just well. And if you have questions regarding the test itself, again, there are a lot of resources out there for the NAPLEX, which I did a video on, but for MPJE, there are, not, there are not that many practice questions. So one thing you do have to do is just have a study buddy and ask you questions that you may think is on the test. Um, because it's law, it's not the most sexy thing, so it can get really dry. So having someone to help with you or study with you will be very beneficial. Best of luck. Many pharmacists have gone through this, so you can too and you can do it. And most importantly, rest well and pre prepare early on. Thanks and I hope you find this helpful. Have a good one.